My mother comes, my sons come, my mother-in-law's even been up. It just transforms through the whole family. Once you get the bug, you keep coming back. My name's Dan Robotham, so straight from birth, I kind of had a link just in the name, really. Um, I've been supporting City since I was a school kid. Um, it was coming up with your friends, having a laugh, standing in the old cow shed, banging away, um, and that's it. And then it's kind of come on to the next generation. Now I've become a dad, um, father of four. So two of my boys are avid City fans. They've joined the trust and we're here most weekends. How special is that for you to share that with your, your son? Brilliant, really. Um, I used to love coming with my mates, but it's a bit special when you've got your own kids and they get involved, especially with the junior Grecians. Um, everything's so welcoming. The players have got to know them because I keep pestering them for photographs. Um, yeah, it's just a family. It's just so special. You mentioned you first started coming to the club. What was it about that, that made you keep coming back? It, it was the atmosphere. Like I say, banging on the old fencing and standing there and there's a group um the social aspect was just amazing from a kid to now standing outside before the match you still see your old school friends that we stood together um chatting away to anyone everyone's so friendly it's the the social atmosphere of being an extra city fans you just can't beat it probably quite a tough question but who's who's been your favorite players to, to really stick out in the memory i've always had a soft spot for the keepers um, Christy Pym has been like the family favourite. Um, my son Taylor is just, he's still a mad Christy Pym fan, even though he's not playing for us. Um, still wears his shirt at least twice a week. Um, but I always had a soft spot growing up for Peter Fox, um, from goalkeeper to manager. He, um, again, it was his friendly manner and I got to know him a little bit. And yeah, it's just been brilliant. Is Darren Robot my favourite? He was. Um, we did meet once when, when I was a little boy, <laughs> I must admit. Um, he come, he come to Exeter Middle School when I was a youngster there. Um, at first, he didn't really believe we both shared the same name. So I had to show him an old textbook. Um, and then again, we kind of got to know each other because I would sit in behind the dugout during the years. Um, and the funny story with that is uh, it involves both Darren and Peter Fox. Um, Darren was on the bench that match and Peter said, Robot and warm up. But he told Darren to sit down, pointed at me behind him, said, no, I mean, this one, he's got better legs than you now. <laughs> so, yeah. Is there a favourite match that, you, that sticks in the memory from your time coming here? Yeah, it, it's, it's probably one of the most wettest matches I've ever attended. And again, I was over the other side in the... Um, I think it was still the cow shed then. It was against Leeds United all those years ago when they had players like Beckford up front. Um, we beat them 2-0. And the noise on that day, it's probably the noise again that stands out, was unbelievable. And um, I know friends that are Leeds fans, so I had, I had a good week of winding them up. It was, yeah, an unbelievable day. How about the best goal? Obviously, there's been loads over the years. <sighs> Again, I'm going to take the best go was last season for me. Um, it was my son's birthday and it was Botang where he flipped the ball up and then just smashed it in the net and we were sat right in front of it. Um, for that go to be on my son's birthday, it just lined up the day. It was brilliant. How about a best away trip? Have you been on many ones? So. Yeah, again, it's, it's probably the Derby days down Plymouth. Um, yeah, the, the atmosphere, the tension, um, the songs, the winding up of each other's and the songs. Um, it'd have to be a Plymouth away day for me. For you, the, the best thing about supporting City, obviously you've mentioned the atmosphere. Is there anything else that really... Yeah, um, again, it's, it's the family side of it. Um, the Junior Grecians, where you've got the table football. Um, there's somewhere safe for them to go and play on Playstations, congregate great with all their mates. Um, being able to share the, the history, really, of the club with my, with my children, that, that's what it means to me now. It's so important as well to have that link and have something for everybody, isn't it, really? It is, yeah. I mean, you've got, obviously it started off with me, but you've now got my old man, so you've got his generation that have just joined the trust. My mother comes, my sons come, my mother-in-law's even been up. It's, it just transforms through the whole family. Once you get the bug, you keep coming back.